one small uh, sharing i want to do uh, one of the best schools i visited is one of the school in brisbane where from class 6 it's called a flying school where is it sir in brisbane australia uh, from class 6 onwards those children who wants to you know have flying as their career aeronautical engineering okay. or who want to do aerospace engineering uh, they have a complete curriculum aligned design to you know this branch of engineering wow. and they also have practicals in the nearby aerodrome great so the entire setup in the classroom is done through artificial intelligence the flying experience the altitude uh, so the way the training is given the concept of physics you will find 7 8 year old going you know going out and they'll be playing with the drones and before that they'll be uh, like a carpenter they'll be with the wood preparing their own planes and they're not flying so the instructor calls them and says you chip up the wood so they're learning the you know the art of uh, aerodynamic uh, you know as per the bernoulli's theorem you know so they are trying to learn the concept of flight wow second strange experience i had was in bali where the entire school is a green school they take children like you know in uh, three idiots we saw kumsum right. pandu yes same way uh, there it is more of you know experiential learning uh, right. in bali uh, i've seen children going close to nature learning everything from nature maybe it's like that's a real but, learning actually uh, yeah. they will never forget they'll yes, never so forget that see the more we are moving against the nature the more the problems we are facing exactly very correct totally agree so uh, when we were you know whenever we are in the classroom we tell them tell, tell the children water should always flow should never stagnate when no. it stagnates it stinks that is the element of water fire should always move in the upward direction it should not go down if go down everything is burnt <coughs> space for everything there we need space where there is uh, space there is tranquility so all the five laws pachama bhutas teaches so many things and uh, uh, one more very important experience i want to share is i have been to all the schools in london technology is there infrastructure is there but teachers they are not using the right platform okay. same uh, if you see in australia teachers are not good they are not trained well they have infrastructure again they don't have platform i have been to finland i have seen i have spent 15 days in the classrooms they have freedom they have everything their ideology philosophies everything they are good teachers but again platform technology every i mean good teachers good technology platform and commonness is missing so each one has their own way of doing things so for all of us the most important requirement i was mentioning here was apart from infra most important is the platform and how you train your teachers to use that and after that give freedom to child let him explore at his own will and let him develop skills and when they do the assessments when the ai driven assessments they come it clearly points out where they have gone wrong and what they need to do. and then as per the error list generated when we customize the assignments based on the gray areas what will happen their weakness becomes the strength hmm. so that is what ideal guru has to do now we don't have ideal gurus gurukula system so at least we should have the ideal uh, guru in the form of a platform where the platform talks about enriching knowledge taking care of their exams talks about exploration talks about everything even if i want to experiment through a simulation or maybe to a do a do it yourself experiment all this should be done but and, so that passion has to be there yes. that's one thing you know everything may be there but if that passion to teach you know teachers have to be passionate about their profession if they have passion about it everything else can be taken in care of so the know? entire world ma'am is looking into us now because right. the country which has taught takshashila right. adalanda universities have taught us right. taught world everything so now the entire world now pays latest news Uh, we are number one in the population now. <laughs> and education also, sir. People so they now, come to the yeah, school and learn. We have to bring back the glory. We have to bring back the glory. 
Right. And once last addition I want to do to the uh, panelists is we also started financial literacy from grade one. We also have started. Right. That's right. 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 Um, then I like to raise a question on this. When you said common and personalized, see, um, uh, in my school in third standard, there were some two three students with dyslexia, uh, reading problem and all. So uh, we planned the uh, lesson plan accordingly, uh, inclusive education, sit- making them sitting in the classroom only, and to have uh, to make them able up to the common other students. What we did to to help them to come up with the correct answers instead of making them more effortful in reading we gave them some digital tools that this is the story you see the story at home go home your mother will show you show you on the mobile and all and next day you come with the explanation of the story the two of them were so good in the class they explained it well you know the problem came after that some parents come to know that these two students who those who cannot Station. read uh. they were so good at explanation mm. and now they they must be uh, they must be very good in the classroom because the school is helping them with some personalized digital tools mm. so other parents came that why uh, why not to have to us also uh, we said it it's not the thing that we can give it after that after teaching the lesson they they are able to read so after teaching the lesson for making more understanding we can give them the same uh, videos and all it's okay they said no no uh, if if it is their problem they are facing dyslexia it is their problem but in this way you are favoring the children giving them more uh, helpful hands and they will earn more marks than so my question is is it is it not correct to it bring is. the student in the mainstream uh, in the inclusive education way and how to face that if we are giving them some helping hand suppose a student is with dyslexia now there is a child in 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 second standard she is suffering from the hearing impaired okay so we had a uh, we appointed a teacher uh, who trained from bombay and he was appointed now he is taking some two two classes two classes when he is take, teaching going there he is teaching her in in the sign languages and all other parents then come and complain that the one teacher who, who is appointed gives more time to a single student he speaks with the sign languages which our children don't understand and then we had to make it common that we told them that we'll teach the sign languages to all the students doesn't matter <laughs> everybody says that's a good one <laughs> that that can we do but in digital can we make like this things that common for everyone then let us give everyone have this facility instead of making personalized because the student who are suffering with dyslexia they really truly need it sir all the organization also have these type of like we say cws and children with special needs so even the cbse gives all that concession you know wherein we can ask for a scribe we can ask for extra time so we need to make the parent understand that these children are with special needs and they need that special help and the thing is we can show the circulars uh, which are issued by the cbse and convince yes, them we cannot like uh, you know these children who are actually with a special needs we need to help them out yes, and uh, cbse says that we need to be an inclusive school it's your duty and responsibility also i think uh, it's not the problem i mean we always speak only about the children uh, we correct. have to start thinking about the soil and beneath also the exactly. teachers you know uh, are all our teachers trained enough we know in india you it know, becomes uh, difficult yeah they, this is not a profession even considered to be at the top level people choose it only when they give, get no other jobs and so, and then yes, we and have uh, to train uh, uh, those teachers we need special educators and we don't get special educators the I problem is that, that too in you know, first we have to create a, a want for this profession and the right. best, uh, students should first <laughs> opt for being exactly. teachers good people should come into this the brighter ones the ones who have uh, you know if a teacher is coming in uh, with already i totally agree with siddharth uh, 
uh, you quoted the example of uh, Khan Academy and in fact I've seen that TED talk of uh, Mr Salman Khan who explains the importance of foundation in the form of bricks you need to keep the bricks down strongly but in case if we are getting teachers whose foundation is not strong how are we going to get the next That's difficult Wait. first thing is that second is our children are living in a world where information is available to them they don't need the textbooks at all everything is available to them so what's different that we are giving hmm. we will have to entirely change the way in which we are teaching it should be more uh, you know more of conceptual uh, based yes rather than just giving them information which they already uh, they can access it we will have to tell them why and how that information can be used right application Correct. of that application based area. experiential learning learning so concept skills. is clear you know the concept is clear they can easily answer any time of the life if they are asked on the question based on that concept that should learning be and how it can be implemented so i think we have to start with the teacher training teacher training Absolutely. but then uh, when we talk about the teacher training also it's a 50 hours right mm. and when we talk about 50 hours coe cbsc so online training how it is happening we know it so the thing is we have to have the assessments for the teachers as well so, you know like it's just bed now if you're talking about the teachers who have the bed degree also how qualified they are they have just a degree but the thing is do, do they have that uh, you know what we say they, do they know the pedagogy of teaching a particular concept uh, ma'am i don't know whether it will uh, i mean all of you will have your own methods but in our school we have created a skill matrix right for the mm. teachers yes. and uh, we discuss it individually with the teachers and uh, you know they can opt for the trainings that they want as well which makes a little more Sub- sort of from their end right yes. and the skills also not only the subject knowledge the skill a teacher requires maybe storytelling these days is a classroom management skill. anger free zone yeah. and all that you know <laughs> it's it's a kind of uh, uh, self awareness for the teacher herself and also an opportunity for him or her to step up uh upscale themselves and be a better teacher we need to make them understand that this training is going to ultimately help them and make their life easy In fact, it produces a lot of stress. Also, I mean, we say that you know everybody is surrounded by stress. Once the teacher is stress management, you know, stress management is getting better skill. Uh, I mean, uh, get better at your work, and your stress reduces. Exactly. See, many become teachers by chance, not by choice. By choice. Yes. Once they are, once they become teacher, then that chance should become choice. very Absolutely. true yeah once they are in that field because teaching is the noblest profession in all professions so this this profession gives you the maximum satisfaction i don't think so any other profession can give you this satisfaction which we get you know exactly uh, any other any other profession ma'am as a occupation it should give livelihood as well that creates more happiness you know? <laughs> so i think uh, they should be well equipped from both sides financially the that yes. is the main thing and that is and, the reason and i think as the leaders it. as the educators we need to situate that absolutely yes. absolutely they absolutely. get that financial <laughs> support as well so that if they get that they are satisfied they are happy they are ready to put in that extra hours a happy from employee is always uh, a good employee very from ancient <laughs> times teachers are from financial point of view they are always neglected see the dronacharya also what happened with him <laughs> so since ancient time this has been happening and still in kaliyuga also same thing is happening here okay so they are not people uh, actually they are not people who work for money i, I think most of the teachers don't count on that but i think people have to respect them with the kind of work they do uh, by honoring them with what they deserve that's all it's not always money yes no, it's not always money and i don't think so any teacher goes in the class and says okay this is my salary so accordingly i will teach not nobody at thinks all. like not that at all. so but not the thing is it should be enough enough so that they can have a nice life right and compare to like they may compare as a teacher uh, maybe uh, the other friend is an engineer and uh, or a doctor and yes. the thing is at least that level should be there and i think that they can you know if that support is there and i think we today 
are uh, more responsible for taking care of these things and <laughs> he can uh, you know uh, do something about it so that at least like sir told fine not by choice they have come but now they are here so they need to put in the best they, we need to make them realize but we need to support them we need to guide them we need to mentor them so that they also are happy so if it is a happy school happy students happy teachers happy students and happy students that means happy parents yeah <laughs> and if everybody is happy all the stakeholders are happy management will also be happy True, true. Ultimately, principal will be happy. That. <laughs> <laughs> I think the poor principals always carry a smile all alone. <laughs> they do carry the smile. I can see a lot of you doing that. <laughs> he is bound to smile. See, he is bound to smile. <laughs> That's so. Which is the best profession which we are in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Actually, there are three types of teachers. One is. complaining type teachers another is explaining type teachers and the third one is inspiring type of teachers yes so this is our this should be our motto that our teacher should be inspiring type teachers so not only understand. complaining and explaining type right, right. So it is I in think. our hands i believe yeah, it is in the hand of the principals to create that environment that the, so, the we develop a faith yeah. on the teachers and give them responsibility and then right. they work they right. do it it's really important right. to have emotional intelligence you know we we have to right. count on for that and uh, even our children uh, these things cannot be directly taught uh, you know we we have to model our behavior so that it right. passes on to the teachers and then right. that passes on exactly. to exactly values are not to be taught but to be caught yes. children learn a lot by observing you only if you are telling something they are not listening to you they follow they what you are doing they are not uh, doing what you are telling them yeah. amazing so nice to hear i can understand the level of stress all of you are facing <laughs> but your smile like your gestures your expressions are not actually justifying what you are telling <laughs> so nice to all of you handling so much and you know handling it with a smile especially so great to hear all of you sidhar like there are a lot of e learning platforms in the market and you have heard all the principals also telling that how are they actually using you know technology and how are they actually educating their students so may i know like you are producing this product you're building simply science so what are the things what are the differences in between your product and the other products in the market and how can you help a school to become a better institution or make the education system better um so i'll probably uh, take five minutes to explain about the product and uh, the reasons why the product is designed in such as such and i i see through the conversation over the last 1 hour 20 minutes uh this is exactly the reason why we designed the product the way it is right now uh there are four major challenges which i dissected it into and the first one is student engagement i think i don't have to tell all of you uh, uh how important it is to engage the student better uh and keeping them engaged this in this day and age is not at all easy and not only engaging them but also making sure that you're creating that interest passion to learn uh and showing them real world examples experiential learning all of these things interest is created only if you you engage them and then create that plant that seed at an early age second one what nobody else is doing and i think most of it is in pub so different platforms are out there they're all p2c but over the last two years when i spoke to multiple different teachers I saw a huge list of challenges that the teachers are having and I believe empowering one single teacher is equivalent to empowering the entire batch of students. So empowering the teacher both in the classroom and outside the classroom how can we do that? So we came up with a list of things that all the teachers were actually having and then tried to not burden them by saying that hey this is another platform please learn it and then teach it. it should be more of a, a value addition to them and they, and uh, save some time wherever they, they need to uh, give them whatever they need to and it's pretty much like a consolidation uh, for the teacher to take whatever they want and then engage the students better so again it's a teacher empowerment too 
third one is creating an ecosystem so peer learning is very important like anil sir was mentioning so even during my time more than some of the times more than the teacher just before the exams i actually learned more than by the teacher that through my own peers and my own classmates they used to sit uh, make me sit next to them and then teach me the concepts and then i used to go and mug it up and then pass the exam so peer learning and creating a data ecosystem is very important but if every single kid has access to different different platforms and if you have a doubt you cannot you shouldn't be asking some online person you shouldn't be asking your tuition teacher the teacher who you are seeing day in and day out are the ones who actually can clear your doubts or your or your uh, classmates whom you uh, see day in and day out so creating that ecosystem is very very important and fourth and final point like bouncer said uh, uh, even though you have the infrastructure even though you have uh, the right teachers you need to also have access to quality uh, platform which can enable all of these three points so uh, these are the four major and also make sure that it is affordable so uh, uh, at the same time not compromising on the quality so we, uh, so these are the major four challenges which my platform is catering towards and uh, if uh, if all of you are interested i would love to have a one on one session and then give you a deep dive at least if even if you're not interested please give me that feedback so that we are actually uh, assisting and building the product in the right direction so that it is catering towards the right uh, personas who have these needs and we want to address these challenges uh, that is one and most important thing so uh, again there's i think there's a saying it doesn't matter how much uh you earn or what you become but it matters uh, how many uh, how you impacted a child's life and how many child's have you impacted is what you truly have achieved that's your true achievement i think uh, no better than uh, teachers and principals who are doing that so uh, that's pretty much uh, summarizing what my product is uh, at a high level and uh, adding to that what Siddharth has mentioned. I met Siddharth the other ones. See, one very important word: quality and affordable. In a country like India, where we have schools across, you know, so many lakhs and lakhs of schools, and uh, getting a quality product very affordable. Affordable means you can't even imagine how much affordable it is. Maybe ten chocolates cost. Sorry, I'm not uh, saying that it's. I'm equating anything. I'm trying to tell you. that a very 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 quality product at affordable cost and I, i was amazed that the decision taken after designing so there's so much investment especially for the 2d 3d videos the simulations the entire team of experts subject experts so it takes lot of time lot of effort lot of editing lot of because uh i've seen because have we when we have implemented it in narayana schools across india common teaching common scheduling common examination every day we used to conduct one iit for example those lakh students were involved in writing exam analysis and all it's not that easy so whatever the uh, i'm not worried about the output but the cost which you have taken and the platform what you are creating for country like india i'm telling you you are moving in the right direction start and very shortly you will see entire india will move on the platform of simply science uh, i wish you best of luck from bottom of the heart and whatever support you want uh, you know feedback uh, you know anything as a teacher uh, you know i have uh, taught till date i teach in the classrooms so uh, whatever support you require we are always there at your you know side supporting the cause of education that is very important because Thank you. when the government has initiated an ep 2020 it is also a duty as citizen of my you know my wonderful country to implement that and for that my role is to encourage such individuals who are doing wonderful job at an affordable cost that is important thank you thank you so much thank you that for sharing insight on your product and yes we would definitely like to know more about it in detail maybe later thank you himan sharma and it's a nice idea i must say student engagement empowering teacher peer learning and giving a right type of platform so congratulations and all the best thank you ma'am in kritan so it is so nice getting support from the school leaders themselves great so that even i was an average student 
scored it <laughs> not more than that i never scored more than that but i always believe in practical learning in you know learning by doing something so yes yeah. so nice to follow you we will uh, come to the conclusion of this session and i would like all of you to share a final message from your side uma khan sir would you like to begin with the final message i hope i'm audible like uh, uh, pauni ma'am can yes, i leave yes. i have some urgent work yeah sure sir sure yes yes no issues thank, thank you so, you so much thank you all of you thank you thank you, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you anila ma'am would you like to end up like by concluding the session any views from your side yeah i uh, must say that uh, you know uh, spending this two hours was wonderful uh, when like minded people come in together one you come to know about the problems and second you al- also find solutions in these uh, you know platforms there are so many people doing so many good things and it gets uh, it goes oblivious people do not uh, speak about it and it's not shared so cbsc has come up with good ideas for sharing platforms hubs of learning the new nep also she uh, says about school clusters and beyond that digital education as well my only apprehensions about uh, increasing the digital uh, you know uh, space is that it should not lead mislead the children for that the parents and the uh, teachers as a community will have to uh, teach them the right usage of uh, digital media uh, of course uh, people like siddharth who are into you know creating apps and all would be taking a lot of care regarding uh, the content and what is being uh, what the children are exposed to so we will need a responsible uh, you know content makers in this field so that the children are guided to the right direction secondly i would uh, say that increase in the digital media space actually takes us away from what we are i, I work in a school which believes in sri aurobindo's philosophy and uh, he says that nobody can be taught you can only make a child realize what his potential is so throughout the learning uh, teaching learning process a child is actually to be made aware what his skills are what is he good at what is his strengths and what are his weaknesses and nep completely aligns with that the 360 degree report card the peer assessment the self assessment it is so well blended with the philosophy which was you know propagated by sri aurobindo almost 60 70 years ago but it brings us back to the fact that we will have to knowing oneself is spiritual uh you know you'll have to get to know yourself to know uh the importance of existence and the importance of life so the only apprehension that i have in increased digital space is that the child should not be detached from his own self so whoever is creating the digital content whenever we are uh, you know giving importance to digital content we must always keep this in mind that responsible usage is very important so teachers parents everybody let the child know that you know digital media is good but we are the masters and ai or digital equipments are not cannot uh last point i would like to say that none of this is a replacement for a good teacher these are only tools and everybody should use it only as a tool Uh, we see that children you know go to youtube and run from pillar to post to learn a particular concept the only thing that they have to do is sit read understand and that's it but what happens is the media exposure is so much the classes are over exactly like uh, all the principals had concerns and apprehensions they run to the tuition teacher who teach in a very different methodology again information then they go to the youtube and there are so many uh, you know uh, content creators who create the content again information flowing in but there is no time where the child is sitting thinking and learning so uh, the right usage we will uh, you know i come to that point in the end that the right usage has to be taught to the children and the self awareness is very very important. very well said thank you so much and said that uh, good job sidar that at the young age you have thought of you know educating young minds is the most noblest thing 
that a person can do and at the young age when our young generation understands that we have to Uh, give more importance to education that there is nothing best than that and this i think is infectious when when a young uh, person says that i'm going to opt for spreading enlightenment and education that takes a little more uh, importance than maybe any lecture or any workshop that we conduct conduct this is more important so good job thank you, thank you so much thank you so much ma'am manish sir Yes, I agree with Anila, ma'am. And uh, uh, the word I think uh, suitable for uh, us today is learning curator. Information is low you know, and less, and we need to curate. And uh, people like Siddharth is uh, rightly, you know, providing us that kind of a platform where I think we can provide the uh, right kind of content to the uh, students at the right time, and that will bring right outcome. you know to our uh, generations and uh, i hope that uh, this kind of <clears throat> uh, affordable and quality content um, you know uh, should reach you know to each and everyone even uh, i firmly believe that uh, the things should be observed from all perspective like see private schools we are very keen about the quality uh but the uh, state board schools where the majority you know uh, future of our country is studying na there these things are not reaching so that is where i think uh, you know uh, we at tech companies can think about uh, so that ultimate you know definitely we need to do business correct we need to earn money but at the same time uh, education is a service and we must reach to that part also which will definitely you know impact uh the uh, nation building uh, which is one of the objectives so uh, uh, thanks for this you know wonderful session and the uh, principles from all the you know different parts it's really great uh, you know to uh, uh, attend uh, this particular panel discussions uh, i'm i'm really uh, very happy uh, about the discussion thank you thank you very much thank you grateful to all of you kishore sir Yeah, <clears throat> thank you, Easy Schooling. Uh, I think technology is neither good nor bad. It depends on us how we use that, and the use of technology nowadays it cannot be underestimated. See, in uh, I think knowledge doubles in every ten years, and abundant knowledge is available now on social medias and everywhere. but the thing is that that is only information and with the help of that information transformation should take place then that education is said to be useful otherwise it is useless and such types of knowledge only information is not only useless but positively dangerous also so uh, i think te- now uh, as far as technology is concerned we should use this technology how uh, see nowadays children are using youtube social media facebook whatsapp instagram everything we cannot stop them but now how can we use this uh, their habit for education that is important that is that is what i say uh, gamification of education is very important what experiment i did is that I told, uh, you know, I, I used to tell my teachers that, and this experiment was done in class eight. That let students make videos of one particular chapter, let them explain it for three, let them video, make video of four to five minutes, taking into account one chapter of science or SST, and let them explain that, and that will be posted on this WhatsApp group of these children, and then. other students will watch that and they will comment on that by this method what would happen they will all of all the students they are spending their time in watching these videos who has posted what he is saying something and by this method learning can learning happens even they comments also very good or uh, you need to improve the among themselves they comment each other so this types of i think gamification if we do definitely technology is a boon for us and because of the technology only we could gather together and sharing our information to with each other so uh, i think we must use this 
technology but how to use we must teach the child how to use this technology don't tell child that don't use mobiles they should use mobile we can teach them how to use the mobile so not using mobile not using technology is not a solution at all even if you ban they will use it no doubt about it so yeah so uh, uh, and uh, let me say that as far as technology is concerned in today's world it is absolutely essential but we should not underestimate the goal of education that is man making education sometimes because of too much use of this technology students are become mechanical they are sometimes emotionless they don't care about the feelings of each other this is somewhere this is missing this point is missing they don't even respect the uh, relations among friends or even parents also many times parents complains that this is what happening here so i think it is a point to tell the parents also that allow them to use the mobiles but in a proper way and teach them how to use this mobiles or social media from from education point of view if we do that i think i think we can uh, easily uh, win this battle so this is what i wanted to share that's all please thank you so much sir thanks a lot himanshu ma'am yeah ma'am uh, i would just conclude by saying that future of education is going to be technology driven for sure because education sector could survive the covid era only due to technology and we cannot now think about education without technology and today also we are able to collaborate uh, thanks to technology and to you as well and yeah anila ma'am and kishore sir everybody is talking about the challenges the unmonitored exposure to technology is the major challenge and uh, because every child is having access to electronic gadgets and internet in one form or, or the other so they are becoming cyber addict and result it is resulting in psychological and behavioral issues so to address such challenges i agree with kul uh, kishore sir that uh, we need not run away or do away with technology rather need is to educate our children to make proper use of this technology so from this session onwards uh, we have decided in our school to introduce digital citizenship curriculum which is offered by cbsc uh, yeah. for uh, uh, class 3 to it is available for class 6 to 8 but we have mapped it to class 3 to 10 scaled down as well as scaled up and we hope that and what we are doing is that we are involving parents in that for example whenever a particular uh, topic is being discussed we are making a creative of that that children this week have learned this this and this and then entire ppt is being shared with the parents and then uh, we are asking them to discuss with their child like they should be aware that this is being taught in the school at least if they are not able to they, they should parents should be aware that what the school is educating them for uh, this and this is for us to see we'll we would just like to monitor it how this program goes uh, through about the session because during ptms we would like to have feedback from the parents and one important feature which has already given given us the result is that in our student diary uh, wherever on uh, the homework pages uh, we have put a tag uh, it's written screen time children are noting down the homework english hindi math science and then below that it is written screen time so and then parent signature so we got the feedback from the parents like uh, and then uh, next day the teacher will come to know uh, this particular child has watched uh, uh, this media for 2 hours 1 hour even if they are lying i i don't uh, say some of them will be manipulating the parents also but uh, uh, it is it is giving a feedback to us so it uh, in our uh, student diary we have we have made some changes uh, and uh, i hope it is going to give results because we need to put in some efforts we cannot do away with technology but we got feedback from the parents this is a good initiative my ward was scared like uh, was uh, just uh, trying uh, requesting me that please don't mention like this or that but let us see we can only make efforts right great thank you so much thanks a lot anil sir so you are muted you are on mute 
acha it was really great to hear you all and uh, it's like uh, the 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 way you have shared your opinions was a uh, really very colorful peacock that i am now and uh, uh see i have seen in my years uh, and i have observed that the next generation is the uh, is smarter than the previous generation it is the cure of the previous issues also and it is always eager to go further than the previous one but what i my personal opinion is um, i am a nature believer and uh, i think that the nature adopts us with its own changes and development and everything so in what i mean that if all are going to mars why shall i remain on the earth so that is that is to go with the nature now it's not the time to have desi ghee uh, if you started even eating desi ghee you cannot digest it now okay because that was the time people uh, were busy engaged in so many activities now we shall not try eating all these things and how the previous people were doing we shall go further with the nature if it is the time for technology now i believe that uh, see the way uh, hands burning cannot be taught in some class or swimming cannot be taught in the books the uh, same way uh, we need to uh, we need to try our hands uh, we need to experience uh, at least some patches at least some for us for some time whether this uh, this or that or something else is going to be the better option or the better technology to have it that is the only way i think and after that once you have accepted then there see what happens as kishor sir said um kulkarni sir said that we came in the profession of this teaching profession now so those who came uh, uh, just uh, they had no choice uh, they entered now they are learning to cope up with it and if we are accepting it full heartedly that we want to be digital so uh, there are these are the things then we have to make efforts we have to take care and all so better i'll say that the first thing is to make better choice so uh, if you choose wisely then then it's to your role afterwards how you use it so uh, it was really very nice to to be with you all of you and uh, this was my first webinar i'm attending uh, many of the time some people phoned me and called me that sir you attend the webinar uh, see i come uh, from a, a, a very remote area Uh, first thing if we get a call from someone we believe that he needs something from me you know so uh, and uh, uh, mostly what happens uh, we are living in such an area we are living in such a people uh, society that we need to be very very careful that uh, we are not going in a wrong way even while accepting job even while leaving the job even while doing the job everything and uh, we, when this chance came to me i, I was thinking that uh, now when i went towards inclusive education i wanted to become the resource person i went on attending the uh, uh, trainings and all then i started collecting the material that yes how i can make my school inclusive uh, after experiencing that when i got call from pauni i come to know that yes let us try first let us go to the webinar understand the people and i have heard uh, sharma uh, gupta madam many times seema madam she is really a very good speaker and she helps people around them to feel very uh, what is a uh, easy to speak and talk and to come up on the board so um, most of others i am meeting first day uh, i heard uh, seema madam many times and uh, i really uh, appreciate her virtues of uh, doing this thing and i'm very thankful to uh, invite me on this webinar it was really nice i'll say that i i'll uh, always like to uh, support the changes as i believe in nature adopting us and we adopting the nature so the only thing is that our role comes when we adopt it and then we shall try going further thank you thank you very much thanks a lot sir thank you so much seema ma'am um 
it was a nice session loved it enjoyed it and uh, i must say that you know each one of us are going with something good something new and something different no doubt uh, we need to adopt the change accept the change and if i talk in terms of the technology we need to accept at our school also before the pandemic we had already started with it we call our school as an e school wherein we have everything that way and it helped us then during the pandemic the our online schooling was really successful and uh, at universal we normally believe that we should be the first one you talk about anything we should be the first one to start with and we did it we had n number of things you know through the online schooling and today i say that when we uh, look at sidha it's good to see you know youngsters working like this and i must add over here that we all as an educationist should come together and since we understand what is needed and what the today gen, today's generation needs and keeping in mind that aspect i think we need to work on it together and see to it that we give the thing back to the society we have got lots of things from the society and uh, it's our duty to give it back to the society and when i talk about giving back to the society as an educationist as a leader today i will say that give it back to the parents to the teacher and to the student because we interact with these three important stakeholders very very important for us and if we can make a difference over here nothing like it and like all of you said that as a teacher we need to make a difference and even if one person gets you know uh, becomes a change you know because of us i think nothing like it so uh, i must say that all of you uh, you know i have received and uh, learned a lot by listening to you all so thanks a lot and uh, we say no it is a in thing it's a new thing wherein technology has brought us together otherwise we would, we would not have thought of coming together and interacting like this so we need to accept this change and uh, being a leader we should be the first one to accept it and learn it so that we can teach our teachers and the students and the parents as well so i think still we should be passionate enough to go with the change thank you great thank you so much thanks a lot siddharth uh again like uh, seema ma mentioned i learned a lot today and uh, uh, that's very important for me <laughs> and uh, without having practical experience as a teacher i only learn through experiences and in, interacting with uh, such leaders like all of you over here and uh, i'm I'm, uh, i'm happy that i joined today as well and uh, really grateful uh, for all of your insights as well so looking forward to uh, our interactions uh, and if my platform if you believe that it really uh, you're looking for something as such uh, i i i'll definitely interact with you and i'll personally give you a presentation and uh, only if you're interested and only if you feel that it's helping the management students teachers and the parents like sima mentioned uh will uh, please, please take our platform to uh, make uh, make a difference as well so thank you one and all uh, for today's session and uh, thanks for easy school for hosting this and pavni have done a fabulous job today right great job that's for pavni first of all thank you so much everybody <laughs> thanks to all of you actually grateful to have all of you over here on this platform like we thought that the session would take only one hour but you know i didn't want to stop anybody so so happy to hear all of you yes it is umakan sir i think uh, we missed you so sir any feedback from you uh, thoughts yes, on the... i think he's not able to hear us umakan sir can you hear us Nay, he has messaged me on chat also. Okay. No, yeah. No. Like in the beginning, uh, I talked to her. I talked to him. I think ten minutes back, he was able to hear everybody. He was. He was actually. He told me that I was jotting out points so as to mention everybody's views. But okay. because like his school is a boarding school, and something happened. Like some of the parents came to the office, and some. tragedy you know i don't want to mention that so he said because of that he missed out and now i don't know why he is not audible i think we are able to hear him because the option is available but he is not able to hear us because he has messaged me in chat you are not audible 
That, that's when I think in the interest of time, uh, we just uh, it, it's uh, because I think Imamam especially, I think she has to go back home. <laughs> <laughs> Still in school. My admin staff is waiting for me. You know, Kima, oh. move out. <laughs> it was uh, wonderful meeting. I mean, we uh, just like you said, ma'am, we wouldn't have met otherwise. And right. now I remember Himanshu, ma'am, we have met during the principal's uh, workshop, right? <laughs> because yes. the windows are the same. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. We are only seeing the windows through these. Yes, the yes, yes. Let us meet physically. We'll plan it sometime. <laughs> sure, sure. Wonderful. It would be. We'll come to Imachal now in summer. Yes, we are most welcome. <laughs> welcome. Summer has started. Welcome, welcome everybody. Yes. <laughs> yeah, summers are there, so please right. plan because your vacation time is ahead. Yes. <laughs> We are a summer closing school, by the way. We are on the downhill, so okay. our uh, uh, schedule is almost as the same of, as rest of India, April okay. to okay. March. Okay. Okay. So we are open. So we you are, are most welcome, are. all of you. Uh, sure. Yes. Thank you so much, everybody. Nice talking Thank to you all. Thank you.